and a warm welcome to one and all. And for those of you not seen me before, my name is Langers and I am the Scruffy Trader. And today, the 5th of May, or Revenge of the 5th, as it is now called, if you are a Star Wars fan, because yesterday was Star Wars Day, May the 4th, the 5th has been taken over by the Sith, by all aging childs like me. Ooh, up talking of aging child. There you go. You're not really an aging child, are you? You're just a beauty, aren't you? No, what you up to? No, I've no, got it now. I've got my copy. Sorry. Anyway, what is this fine day bringing? Uh, the sky is incredibly blue, and the woods are over the way there look wonderful. But there is ice on top of the road, on top of the cars. What kind of witchcraft is this? Isn't it supposed to be borderline summer? Anyway, let's see what the charts have to say for themselves. Well, the first thing I always do is I will look at the economic news and I do this sort of video, what you're looking at now, once a week publicly, but every day I do this for the Scruffy Squad and I'll give a heads up. And this is where I start with the economic news. Now, there's no real major impact news today to later on this afternoon, but there is a lot of news around today. Uh, there's your impact coming in just after one. And then there's lots and lots of news right through the afternoon. And it's running up to around eight o'clock tonight. Uh, what does all that mean? Well, when you have a big impact news like this, so around 1.15, you either want to be prepared for it. In other words, have your stops in a very good place and your targets in place or not be in the markets at all uh, because the market will spike at that point. It will accelerate. But because of all of the, the, the low impact news, what happens is there'll be a ripple effect throughout the afternoon because it's one news event after another. So it'll be a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, like a ripple on a pond. So just be a little bit mindful of the dollar this afternoon and well euro dollar really because there's a lot of you um european news smashing over into the dollar uh so that's keeps an eye on that so once i'm mindful of the time scales of the day i'll then start looking at my strength sheet now this strength sheet if you've never seen it before is kind of my roadmap as to what I'm going to look at during the day. I'll always be looking at cable, euro, dollar, and I'll show you my window of the world in just a second, which is essentially eight products that I look at every single day. Uh, but when it comes to currencies, it's, how, how do I put this? It's very difficult to filter them all down to be manageable. And that's where this comes in. Now it's a set of data over a couple of days. It gives the average here and it tells me the strongest and the weakest. So today it's telling me the card is the strongest and the yen is the weakest. Okay. Um, very, very simple. Uh, but the part that I pay most attention to is this bit here the change of strength because that is the movers and the shakers of the day it's telling me the ones that have moved the most and as you can see it's kind of changes around a little bit it's telling you it's the new zealand dollar the kiwi has moved the most and the aussie is going the opposite way you know the sort of pulls apart all right so that is something to also help you with your filters. These are the products that I'd be interested in. That is, these three would be the base currency and then followed by the other side. And as you can see, it's pulling out sort of CAD JPY. Uh, the reason why you've got a green and a red, I like to have a major in one of the pairs I'm going to trade. So again, it becomes a filter. So all of these three here 
will be sort of on my watch list today. Right? This section here is a heat map. And what it's shown me is whether or not it's a swing trade or a day trade. So once I found my pair, sort of CAD JPY, I then just go down to the CAD JPY. I'm looking for a green and a red on the pair, a strong and a weak. And then this tells me what the ATR is. If it's in mauve, it automatically becomes a swing trade and I'll be looking at it to trade over multiple days. And if it's in blue, it'll be a day trade. Right? So it's a simple way of working things out. It's just really a filter for me, but it is pretty accurate. And it, and it, um, it took a long time to, to develop. Anyway, once I've done all of that, I will work my way down into my charts. And today, um, my interest for day trading, because when I looked at that, is twofold. I'm kind of looking at the US yen. As you can see, it is on a drive up. Uh, it's still got some way to go. So I'm not rightly sure whether that one will get traded today because it doesn't move as much as as you think uh and it's not near any real levels at the moment so but i'll be keeping an eye on it the ones that are absolutely interesting me is i'll be on the euro dollar today and i'll be looking for the long side on that I'll be looking for it to go up over uh it's coming down into a level it is absolutely stretched and the feeling it is to the upside so that's where i'll be going with that also be keeping an eye on the dax again because you can see i've pre-marked some levels in because i'm already waiting for this one um this one again i'm waiting for it to bounce the level and it will be to the short side but that has a chance to be late on this afternoon and that's about it guys so what i'll do is i'll drop back to my strength so you can take a screenshot if you so wish um and that's it and if you're interested in coming part of the scruffy squad it, it's a good community of guys where we share ideas uh it's mainly there we go i'll show you it where we at boom, boom, boom. so very simple as you can see there's general chat here where it literally is just music and chat but then we start getting into the nitty gritty of your mindset because mindset is very important when when you're trading um, because when you get it wrong you need to be lifted up and also how to cope with the emotional turmoil of trading so that's in there you've got your indices where we'll look at the the dax dow s p 500 whatever it happens to be and we'll talk through the trades that we need commodities if you're an oil trader forex obviously we, we spend a lot of time in forex the the shares crypto also prop trading because there's a lot of prop firms around at the moment and if you're unaware i'm kind of the face of the five percenters at the minute uh, I, I do do training for them and if you're interested in, in a prop firm there's a link that will give you a cash back in, in the description as well. Uh, we have our boss tier, Rags and Riches, where we talk about times that are good and bad and we show our results uh, all the way up there. So as you can see, I put mine in every day. Chart markups, where you can see exactly how to draw your charts up. The announcements, blah, blah, blah. There's lots of sort of educational stuff in here tools brokers etc and then down here and the main element of part of the scruffy squad if you're looking to learn trading is the live streams that i do uh, i do live stream trading do it in front of you we have q and a and i show you exactly how i trade and because of that as you can see in the rags and riches the guys are pulling in some lovely results and some good profit by following. So if you're interested, that's there. There's links in the description.
description below. But back to this. Uh, now I've just done my self promotion. <laughs> um, there's my sheet for the day, guys. Uh, if you're stuck, contact me. Everybody gets an answer. Um, and I'm very easy found. There's contacts in the bottoms below. So as always, guys, do what you love. And the money will follow. See you all in the next one. Thank you.